then the Mayflower landed. Wow. I guess nothing good happened in years that end in 20, am I right? Wait, Danny, don't you have a concert to play? Oh, I gotta go play my recital. Uh, wait, don't you need this? Say thanks. I guess we should watch? Yeah. <laughs>
you guys so much for coming to my virtual recital. I have had a ton of fun putting this together, and I really want to thank all of my friends and family for the support. I know I couldn't have gotten through this semester without them, and honestly, I'm really inspired by the way that so many communities have formed and supported each other, even though that's very difficult right now. I especially want to thank my mother, whose patience seems to know no bounds, and who's always been there for me. For that, I'm internally grateful. Unfortunately, there are lots of kids in the world right now and our country who have been separated from their parents. And they're going through a tough time, obviously. Like, the world is not easy to navigate on your own to begin with, and now more so than ever. There's an organization called KIND that wants to uh, help support these children, however. And it's, it's not the granola bar, it's uh, Kids in Need of Defense is the name of the organization. And I've agreed to partner with them and give them a little bit of publicity with the concert and also uh, help fundraise for them. If you'd like to see more about what they do, I'm going to show a little clip in a minute. And there's some links in the description on where you can support them or learn more about what they do. So let's check that out. KIND was founded in 2008 by the Microsoft Corporation and Angelina Jolie. KIND arranges pro bono or volunteer legal representation with its partners so that no child is forced to go through a very complicated court proceeding without representation. These kids are fleeing from war or persecution or other violence and they end up here in a deportation proceeding. We have been working with families who've been subject to the family separation policy, including parents who've already been deported back to their home countries who are frantic to know where their children are. They want a case that has completely transformed someone else's life. I want to say thank you to KIND for helping me and kids like me. We thank you for standing with them and standing with us. So if you're feeling generous, I hope you'll consider supporting them in their mission. I think it's a really good one. Um, I also want to tell you a little bit about the last piece of the concert. Uh, so I was not born in this country. I was born in Colombia. However, I spent most of my life in the United States. So culturally, I've always felt a little bit disconnected or a little bit on the outside of, you know, a big part of my heritage and a big part of my identity. So I felt super grateful to my cousin Victor who showed me a little bit more about this music. We never spent that much time together growing up, but we've spent, you know, a few days uh, this semester learning about bambuco, which is a very national style of Colombia. And it has a really interesting history that really reflects what was going on in the country through its development and into modernity. Um, the style is very rhythmically intricate to me. Um, I didn't realize how bad I was at feeling time until I started learning this kind of music. Um, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys. We're having a little reception afterwards. It's virtual, of course. Um, I think I'm gonna have an interesting costume on, uh, but come to check out what it is. There's links in the description for that. It's on Instagram Live, and there's a little Zoom meeting if you'd rather do it that way. I'd love for you to come say hello, and yeah, I really appreciate your support. It's been super fun to get to do this. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the last piece. Okay, that was
Thank you.